Here's how to do a drop down menu with images in App Lab on code.org. Start at the dashboard and click Create an App Lab. Once you're in on an empty project, go to Design Mode and drag over a button, a drop down menu, and an image. We'll leave the image empty for now. I'm going to change my button to be a little larger and to say Submit. And I'm going to make my drop down just a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. Okay, under the drop downs properties, you want to change the options. I'm going to do some operating systems. So I'll take these out, but iOS, Windows, Android, and Linux. So I've got four choices. Now I'll go back over to code and I can hit run and check that my drop down looks the way I want it to. It looks like I'm, I've got a capital I there. I'm going to fix that really quickly. And I'm ready to start coding. I want to check which operating system I have whenever the submit button is clicked and then change the picture to the icon of that operating system. So first I'll grab an on event which is yellow, choose the ID for the button, and then the next thing I want to do is store the value of the drop down menu in a variable. So I'll just grab this first var and I'll make it called choice. And the choice is going to be set to whatever the value there is, so I need to go back to yellow and find get property. And I want to get the property of the drop downs value, like that. Once I do that, I just need to check what it is and then change the picture accordingly. So I'm going to grab an if else and put it right here. And then under math, I'll grab a double equals to compare. And I'll say if the choice is double equal to iOS. Spelling's key right here. The spelling has to be the same and these need to be in quotation marks to work. So if the choice is equal to iOS, I want to set the image URL. So that's right here. Set the images URL to, and here I'm going to go down to icons and choose the, the little picture of the apple for iOS. All right, let's try that. So clicking around here, submit, and the apple pops up. Now, if it's not iOS, then I need to check for the next one, so I need to get another if. And I'm going to put this if else inside the first else like this so that they're nested. And now I need to go get another double equals. This time I'm going to check if choice is equal to Windows with a capital W. Even a capitalization error will throw this off. If it is, I want to set the image. Let's just copy this one. It'll be a little faster set the image, and now I need to go choose the Windows icon. And I picked these specific four because they're right in a row. Okay, now if it's not iOS and it's not Windows, then I need to check if it's Android. So I'm going to do the same thing again. This time, instead of dragging on orange, I'm just going to type it in there because I've done it a few times. And now I can remember what it is. And when I click out, it will turn it into that orange block for me. And now I just need to uh, set the image URL to the little Android robot. Where did he go? There he is. And now if it's not iOS and it's not Windows and it's not Android, I don't need to check the if again because there's only one thing left, right? So let's just go ahead and put the little penguin for Linux in here. And we'll be done. Let's try that. Looks like everybody's working except for one common glitch with drop downs. Watch this. When you run, if you're already on iOS, oh, it's working. I'll tell you when that doesn't work. If you decide to get rid of the button, and instead of on the button event, you make it on the drop down changing, then the first one won't work because there's been no change, right? Uh, so in that case, if you're going to try to do it without a button, what you ought to do is come back to your design, and make the top row of options here, just be instructions. That way, no one can ever start on something that they need. Like that. That's how you use a drop down with images.